All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I am now using a different recording software because I've had massive problems with Adobe Captivate. It's definitely not a good screen capture software program. Um, it seems to crash all the time. I mean, I have plenty of resources uh, that that thing should need, but it, it just randomly crashes. I lose all my stuff, and then I get all pissed off. Um, anyway, but getting back to where we were here, let's go ahead and build some stuff inside of our uh, navigation or our template. Uh, so I'm going to have some classes here. I'm going to add div class equals. Uh, we're going to have a header. Everything's going to sit inside the header. The header is going to be 100% width. So to do that, I want to have a div class equals uh, wrap inside of the header. Um, now below the, well, inside the wrap, I'm going to have a navigation div class nav. And then inside here, I'll have a UL with some li elements and an anchor tag inside of it. Right now, you can just do a pounce because we don't know where it's going to go. It's going to be link one. It's going to be five links at the top of this website. So I am going to just repeat this five times. All right, so now that that is done, um, before this content, I want to go ahead and add another class equals wrap. Cut that, put that down here. And another class of content. All right, that should be good. Inside the um, wrap here, I want to have a logo. So I'm going to have div class equal logo. And then we're also going to add something called a uh, clear. So I'm going to div class equals clear. And now we need to go ahead and create this class in our main.css. So um, clear, all it does is just clear both. It's just a simple style, and we're going to be using that a lot, so let's go ahead and add that. Um, we want the width of our application to be 940 pixels. Okay, um, header is going to be 100% width, but really, header is going to be let's give it a height of 150 pixels. Let's go ahead and bring in our logo. The logo that I'm bringing in is actually sitting right here. So if I look at the properties of it, you go to details, you can see that it's uh, 168 in width, 91 in height. So width, 168 pixels, height, 91 pixels. And we're also going to float this left. So let's go ahead and look at the application again. We still have that back, uh, black background. The logo needs to actually find the image. So let's go ahead and set the background of it. URL inside here, we're going to do dot dot images. And then log BGC, BGC logo dot GIF. semicolon on that. Um, let's change this background color. Well, we can keep it black and actually change the background color of this to be pound FFF for white. So going back to this, let's take a look here. All right, so now we have this. Now let's go ahead and, and um, do our navigation. And we want this to be width 100%. And then we want li Really we're going to have, this is going to be dot nav ul, dot nav ul li, and um, don't, let me see here, let's see, I'm going to do a little bit of math here, I don't feel like thinking about it in my head, so I know I have 940 pixels in width, 
I'm going to divide that by 5, so 188. So each one of these should be 188 pixels. I want the text alignment to be center. They're going to be floated left. And then, actually, that may not even be. Let's just display inline block. Okay, let's see what that does. Hopefully that puts everything in a line. Okay, that's good. There's um, a lack of space. Let's make sure that the padding is set to zero. Padding zero. And let's just make sure nav has a padding of zero as well. have to add margin zero. That's fine for right now. Just add this. Now when we view this full size, you see that everything's sitting off to what the hell? As you well. Not sure why that's not fitting. Now that fits. I don't know. We'll worry about that in a little bit. Um, so we need a little bit more space between our logo and the content below it. So let's add a BR statement below the logo. Just a quick BR. And the um, we want to remove the margin on the body as well. So let's go to the body and remove, make sure padding and margin is zero. Wrap should be margin zero auto. And this will center it in the middle of the screen. So depending on how, so it doesn't matter how wide the device is that's viewing it, it'll center it right in the middle. Also remove the padding at the top, which is what we want. Um, Still not much of a space between the logo and the nav. Not sure what's up with that. Let's take a look at that one more time. Let's add it after the clear. Okay. All right, so that's a little bit better spacing. Um, now the content inside here, let's go ahead and um, I want to give the background color of the header something so I can tell where it's sitting right now. So if I go to the header, I'm going to give it a background color of blue. It's going to look awful, but this is just so that we can see where things are sitting uh, currently. Okay. And then this needs to be... This needs to be gotten rid of. All right, so the header is not being applied, the background color. Oh, that's because we're missing a dot. OK. All right, let's take a look at this again. All right, so there's our header. Um, That's fine. We'll, we'll live with that for right now. 